Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create show-stopping hero sections with Divi. So let's take a look at the final design we're going to be designing in today's tutorial. Okay, so this is the final design that we're aiming towards in today's tutorial. So we're going to do some customizations here to the header and also to our section and background area. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let me show you step by step how we managed to achieve this. Okay, so here we are in my admin dashboard. So the first thing I'm going to do is to add the logo. So I'm going to come over here to Divi, click on theme options. And then I'm going to click on upload to upload my logo. Now I already have my logo in my media library. So I'm just going to cancel this. But if you were adding your logo uh, from your local machine, this is where you'd need to click on select files. So I'm here in my media library, I'm going to select my logo and then click on set as logo. So that's all we need to do. And then we need to go ahead now and save changes. So that's it. Our logo now has been applied to our website. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to customize our header area. So I'm going to come over here to theme customizer. And then I'm going to click on header and navigation, header format. And then here we can see that our logo is uh, set as the default style. So what I need to do here is to center it. So I'm going to click on centered. And now you can see our logo is now centered and our navigation is below the logo. Now let's customize our primary menu bar. So I'm going to click back here and click on primary menu bar. And we are going to start off with our menu height. So let's set this to 211. So we can see more of our logo. For our logo max height, I'm going to set this to 100. So now we can see that our logo is nice and big. Our text size, we're going to set this to 16. And then for our letter spacing, I'm going to set this to 2. Right, so now let's come over here to our theme default font. We're going to set this to Leto. So I'm going to scroll all the way down here until I find my font. And here it is. And then next, we're going to make sure that all this is uppercase, like that. Right, so next, I'm going to come over here to my text color and set this to white. And then our active link color, again, this needs to be set to white. Next, I'm going to come over here to my background color and we are going to add a transparent background. So I'm just going to come over here and paste my values between these brackets like that. I'm going to do the same for the drop down. Okay, so we can see right now that our menu seems to have disappeared, but that's because our text is white and it's also on a white background. So what I'm going to do in the next uh, stage is to add a new section with a background color. So let's go ahead and save and publish, and then let's create a brand new page. Right, so I'm going to close out of this, come over here to pages, click on add new. Now you can call your page whatever you want, but for in my case, I'm just going to add HS, Click on use the Divi Builder, use Visual Builder. Right, so let's start off by adding a color to our section. So I'm going to come over here to this gear icon for our section settings. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to snap this to the left. Then I'm going to click on background, click on our gradient tab, click the plus button, and then I'm going to add my first color. So I'm going to paste it in here like that. And then for my second color, this is going to be transparent. So I'm just going to drag all the sliders down all the way to the bottom like that. So over here, we're going to leave this as the linear gradient. And then for the direction, it's fine at, uh, at 180 degrees. And then for our start position, I'm going to set this to 40. And then for our end position, I'm going to set this to 40 as well. Right, so you can see our background is quite plain. So the next thing we're going to do is to add an image to the background. So I'm going to come over here to my third tab, click the plus button to add our image. And I already have my image in my media library. So if you don't have your images in your media library, all you have to do is to locate the image by clicking upload files and then uploading it into the media library. So I'm going to select my image here and click upload an image. So now we can see that our image is in the background. The next thing we're going to do here is to change our blending mode to multiply like that. So pretty much that's all we need to do for now. So let's go ahead and save. And now it's time to add our columns. So I'm going to click this plus button here and we're going to add two columns. So for now, I'm just going to close this and then I'm going to come over here to my row settings and add my background color. So I'm going to click on background, click the plus button and I'm going to paste my uh, color in here like that. Now I'm going to add my gradient to my first column here. So I'm going to click the second tab, click the plus button, and let's go ahead and start adding our 
colors. So I'm gonna click here for my first color. Now this is gonna be an RGBA value, so I am going to paste my values within the brackets like this. Click on my second color and I'm going to do the same. Right, so next we are going to come over here to our gradient type and change this to a radial. And then here we're going to set this to top left and the column one start position, we're going to set this to 49 and the end to 49, like that. Now let's go to column two. So here, in fact, before I go to column two, we can see that we've just created this shape right here. So we will be able to see it clearly once we've added some text in our module right here. Okay, so here on column two background, I'm gonna click the second tab for our gradient, click the plus button, and I'm gonna add my first color. As before, this is going to be an RGBA value, so I'm gonna paste it within the brackets like that. And then I'm gonna click my second color, do the same. And then here for the gradient type, this is gonna be a radial, but this time it's gonna be bottom right. So now our shape is gonna be right at the bottom. So here again on column two start, we're gonna set this to 49. And for the second uh, column, we're gonna set this to 49 too. Okay, so pretty much we're done here. Let's go into design and um, click on sizing. Now here we need to set our gutter width. Now what the gutter width does is it pulls all the content within these two columns together. So we're gonna set this to one like this. So now whatever is gonna be in these two uh, areas here is gonna be really close together. There won't be any spaces between them. And in fact, I'll show you this once we've added all the content. Right, so let's come over here to our spacing and for the custom padding top, we're gonna add a zero to this, but we're gonna come over here into this little icon here and set our padding for our smartphone and tablet. So for our smartphone and tablet, we're gonna set this to 20, like that. Click on smartphone and that's 20. Okay, so that's all we need to do here. So next we just need to add 25 to the right, 20 to the bottom and 25 to the right. And then over here on the custom margin on the bottom, we're gonna add 200. Okay, so we're all done here. Let's go ahead and save. And then the next thing we're gonna do now is to start adding the content. So let's start off by adding a blurb. So I'm gonna click this plus button here and I'm gonna click on blurb. And then over here, I am going to, and the title here is gonna be 24 seven delivery, but you can name this whatever you want. Okay, and then over here, in my content area, I'm gonna paste my dummy text like that. And then I'm gonna come over here to image and icon, click on use icon. And here I need an icon which has a trolley. I'm gonna come over here to design, click on image and icon. Now here I want my image to be placed to the left like that. So I'm gonna change my color here to white so it can really stand out. And then here for my use icon font size, I'm gonna click on yes, and then I'm gonna set this to 40. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is to adjust our text. So I'm gonna come over here to design, click on title text, and here we're going to choose Roboto, and we're gonna make sure that it's set to bold. So right now my font is, is uh, selected, but you can search for it here like this. And then you can see that here it's it's appearing in the search results. So that's all you need to do. Make sure you select uh, Roboto. And then for our font weight, set this to bold because by default, it's set to regular. So here for our text size, we're gonna set this to 25 because it's a bit small. And then for our text color, we can see here that our black does not really blend very well with our website. So we're gonna change this to white like that. And then over here, we're going to adjust our line height to 1.5, just to give this a bit of breathing space. Right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we are going to go to our body text. We're going to choose Lato Light for our font. So I'm gonna come over here, search for Lato, like that. Here it is, I've selected it, and we're gonna set this to light. And for our text color, we're gonna set this to white. Right, so what we need to do next, we can see here that um, this blurb is taking a lot of space. So let's, do, let's add a specific size to this. So to do that, I'm gonna come over here to sizing and we are going to set this content width to 300, like that. Now let's go to spacing and let's add 
our values for our margin. So what we're going to do here is we're going to set our margin to minus 50. So what that does is it pulls everything up. So we can see here that this 24-7 has now been brought up here into this um, area here, which is exactly what we want. And then next, I'm going to click this little icon here to adjust my um, margin top for my tablet and smartphone. So here we're going to set this to zero like that. And then for the smartphone, we're going to set it to zero like that. Next, let's um, adjust our padding. So for the padding top, I'm going to add 100. For the right, I'm going to add 10. For the bottom, it's going to be 30. And left is going to be 10. So now we can see we have a beautiful breathing space around this blurb. Right, so all is done here. I'm going to click on Save. So what we're going to do next is we're going to clone this blurb module and drag it over here to the right. So I'm going to click this button here to clone it. And then I'm just going to drag it over here to the right. So this will save me time to recreate all the settings that I have in the first blurb. So here I'm going to go into the blurb settings and set my background color. So I'm going to click on background, click the plus button, and I'm going to add my background color like that. So the next thing we're going to do is to change our icon. So I'm going to come over here to our icon and I am going to choose a coffee cup. And here it is. And then for our text, for our title text, I'm just going to change this to top quality. Okay, so for now, I'm going to go ahead and save. And then finally, I'm going to come to the first blurb and add our background color. So I'm going to come over here to background, click the plus button, and I'm going to add my background color here. Okay, so now our page is looking way much better. So now I'm going to go ahead and save. And I can just save my page and exit the Visual Builder. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do subscribe and follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new videos. Until next time, thanks for watching and see you soon.